Hey guys, Vex here. Welcome to episode 49 of my Waking Up Developer Commentary. I need to go and get the last chapters, um, which I do remember where they are. And so this episode, eh, kind of a chill ending to the series, I guess. Um, I think I closed off this one down here. Let's see. Could have sworn it was down here, right? Yeah, here it is. Yeah, it's down there. Okay, so I just guess I'll go straight down with this. And there it is. Okay. Let's see, what chapter is this? Chapter 7? There we go, chapter 7 by a person of interest. And just gonna get that. And let's see. Don't need the sun or that. And alright, chapter 7. Okay, now gotta go get chapter. Um, what's the easiest way out of here? Whoa! Hello, Bug. How are you today? I'm fine. How are you? <sighs> Man, it would. You know what? Yeah, it wouldn't be a waking up DevCom without me getting annoyed at chest bugs. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> so, um, I'm not gonna bother cutting anything. Uh, I guess. Man, how long have I been going? Almost 50 episodes. Well, I, I will want to do a highlight episode, like I said. Um, but I don't know when uh, that's going to... I don't... Oh, wait, wait. I never showed off this, did I? This is just my sand mine. I was just down here with the torches, doing the torch trick. Just mining tons of sand. That's all that's down here, if you ever wondered. Um, I would like to do a highlight episode, like I had mentioned. Um, but, I mean, that could take me, like... A week or two to get around to finally doing because I'll have to uh, parse through all of my footage and as you know at you know as of like the 40 uh, 49 episodes right now uh, I've probably got over 24 hours worth of footage easily uh, if, if, if each episode is about 30 minutes on average I've got um, chapter 7 goes right here so I just need chapter 16, and I think I remember where that is. Yeah. Uh, and off we go. But as I was saying, uh, the... Well, wait, let me see here. How do I... Need, okay, go that way. I need to get over to the intersection. Run, 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 we Whoa. Look at this <laughs> Look at this minecart, guys. This thing is just like Oh my god, this is terrifying. What is it doing? Wow. I mean, just wow. I guess this is another reason they're doing the uh, code rewrite. If you haven't heard, um, Mojang is stopping development of Minecraft at uh, Minecraft 1.5, I believe. Something like that. And But before they do, one of the last things they're going to do is totally rewrite the game and fix all the bugs in it. And just have it be really stable and smooth running. And uh, I think... I think it'd be. F I think it's fast enough if I just go this way, right? Or no, nah, I'll, I'll go the other way. Let's see. Go that way. Um. 
Which is, you know, it's kind of sad that they're stopping with the game, but they said they're getting to the point where everything they're, you know, they might want to add feels like it could be a mod, and that does remind me though that I I do think there should be a lot of things in the game that aren't right now that are missing from like the core Minecraft. There's um a lot of roles that aren't filled quite yet and there's a lot of room for features that aren't currently really done by anything like uh for example um having an alter like an alternative to leather armor for example uh something low tier that maybe oh hello creeper oh, you came from up there something lower tier than than iron and maybe maybe obtainable through combat by going out and killing enemies instead of farming at your base with cows and stuff uh so i was thinking maybe something in between leather and iron uh that's not chain would be uh chitin armor which is uh the carapace of uh, insects. In this case, it would be silverfish, spiders, and cave spiders would have a chance to, you know, maybe a 33% chance or 50% chance or so to drop a uh, piece of carapace or chitin that you could make armor out of. And you would get that by going out and, you know, hunting monsters as opposed to uh, farming for uh, just farming cows. And so that'd be a renewable source of armor based around based around participating in combat. Alternative and and coming from uh the spiders, because I feel that right now uh skeletons and zombies are already a source of many good drops. And and spiders and cave spiders and silverfish don't really drop anything too worthwhile. Um, I mean, yeah, there's the string, but once you've got, you know, once you've farmed up a little bit of string, you've got it, it'll last you a long time for what you use it for. Uh, is it up here? Yep, I knew it. It had to be, it was either going to be here or I was going to say over there. It was one of these uh, crevices up here. All right, so there's chapter 16. And let's actually get it in our inventory. All right. So I'll just drop it on the floor. floor. There we go. I think that's a more surefire way of making sure I pick it up because it has to register being an entity and then in my inventory. And All right. So that's that's in my inventory. Yeah. All right. That exists. Okay. <sighs> it's kind of a shame about uh, Chapter 5. Um and me me losing it it kind of sucks but um oh well maybe i could like maybe i could bug andrea to um write you know what there's been enough killing i don't i don't need to fight anybody any more people um maybe hey maybe i could bug andrea to uh to write me a fresh copy just just for me um but yeah, going back to the uh, the chitin armor, another alternative would be for, and this is another thing I thought about is is iron, excuse me, chain links, to be dropped from enemies, and what you could do is craft one iron ingot into nine, or maybe four. Yeah, four. I think four might be better. One iron ingot would give you would craft into four uh, chainmail links. But you can't craft the chainmail links back into an iron bar, so it's only one way. So that way you can make enemies drop the chainmail links, and so that would mean like uh, skeletons and zombies would drop them because that's like a um, that's something like dead humans would have on them as bits of armor. You could craft chainmail out of that. So that uses the already existing chainmail as a bridge between leather and iron and it gives you a decent armor that's renewable but you don't get it from farming in your base you, you get it from uh 
going out and fighting enemies. Um, Alright, so heading back to base. Here we go. Oh man, this is taking forever. I'll just see you guys when I get back to base. You know what? I was going back to base and I just realized uh, I need to, I still need to get chapter 20 out of um, Inventory Wipe Horror Festival. So let me go grab that before I head back. And then I'll have um, I'll have all the chapters. Well, all the chapters I can get. Uh, da, 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 da. This should not be too hard, but I'm gonna be cautious and you know what? I may as well wear these now. I mean, why not? There we go. Um, do I have any just like fancy? I mean, may as well wear full diamond armor because I mean, why not, right? Okay. And this is still still dangerous, so let's take that stuff there. I might need. Um all right. Yeah, that'll do. Hoo yeah. Okay, so here's the thing though about that armor. The chainmail links are yet another drop that would be on zombies and pigmen and skeletons because that's like a humanoid drop. Uh, and I feel that skeletons and zombies already have uh, really good drops already. So it, it's kind of, they're too good. Like I was trying to think of more of more reasons to hunt cave spiders, spiders, and silverfish. And you know, maybe, well no, not squids, never mind. Uh, but yeah, you would hunt them for their chitin drops, or carapace plates, and then you could make armor out of that. Oh, warm welcome to the nether, of course. Okay, so the... Do I have a spare pick? Okay, good, I do. Uh, let's see here. Got that awesome loading. Uh, that's caused by... Uh, running fraps at the same time with Minecraft. Oh, I need to turn to sound down just a bit. Um, okay, so where's like roughly the center of this? Is it about right here? Well, that was easy. Just a guess, and I made it. Alright, chapter 20. And... Need some blocks here to get back up. And now let me let me do the test. Let me throw it on the ground and make sure... Yeah, there it is. That's an entity on the ground. It exists. And now it's in my inventory, right? Alright, good. You know what I just thought would might happen right there is uh, I throw it on the ground to make sure it exists, and then like a gassed fireball just comes sailing in from the side and uh, blows it up, and I lose it. That which is that would be just my luck. So, but as far as things that need to be, I think in vanilla Minecraft before they call it quits with development and pass it off to the modders. Um. Hmm. Definitely, there needs to be. They need to get chain mail crafted, and I think chain links dropped from um, either crafted out of iron ingots, or dropped from uh, dropped from zombies and skeletons uh, would be a nice thing. Still, it gives even more incentive to hunt zombies and skeletons. That's the big problem. I'm trying to I'm trying to knock out the armor armor gap while at the same time finding an elegant solution to. Well, it's a I perceive it as a problem. It it's something that 
that bugs me is that there's not enough reason to hunt cave spiders, spiders, and silverfish right now. So you can't. Although honestly, in the normal game, you don't really go out and hunt silverfish. You whoops the book. You they just they're just kind of there, so they're not really something that you go after. All right, sixteen and twenty. There we go. All completed. Now I just have to get back to base without falling into the void or something stupid, which I honestly would not put it past me to do that. What? So what else needs should be in vanilla Minecraft before they wrap it up? Any ideas? Tell you what, put a let me know in comments what you think needs to be in the game. I'm kind of curious what you guys think. Oh god, this takes forever. Go. Nope, there's my... Dang it. Oh, well. Yeah, I got that one in my inventory. I got off that cart when I realized I had forgotten Chapter 20, and apparently that's where it managed to land. Can I get the... Hold on a sec. Nope. Get out. I kept, I kept saying it. I kept saying, I should, oh, I should do that and replace it with a, a stone, a wooden button because a wooden button... Is that all you need? That's a nice, convenient crafting recipe. Uh, I know. I know. I'm, I'm done with the map, but I, like, my own frugality will not allow me to, uh, Oh, might as well. Blast protection. Wee projectile protection. Who cares? Um so this makes it a longer it lasts longer. Yeah. One one thousand. One one thousand. Two one thousand yeah, it's a one and a half second uh delay, it looks like. Okay. So, do it. Dink. Wee! Yeah, that's much easier. I should have done that like 10 episodes ago. So, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think Minecraft needs to have in it uh, that's part of a vanilla... That for that's part of vanilla Minecraft for everybody to have. Um, now, try to keep in mind that this is something that's missing from the game function... Uh, missing from current functionality. Like, especially gaps in... Inability. Uh, not necessarily features that are missing that you think the game should have. Uh, there's there's the leather leather to iron armor gap because it's basically leather is kind of like wood tier. I don't know why I think like that, but that could be flawed reasoning to begin with. Actually, now that I think about it, like there's the armor doesn't have to match the the technology tiers of the tools. I mean. Why does it have to be like that? Um, anyway. Alright, so chapters 16, 20, and um, chapter 5. Andrea? Aww. Andrea wrote me a new chapter 5. What do we got here? There's two books. Silly Vetches and... Oh. Oh, great. Now I get to... Uh, there's chapter 5, 16. What is... What is this? Silly Vetches. Dear Vex, please take care of this one. I'm not going to write you another book, you silly bat, Andy. Oh, thank you, Andrea. I appreciate it. For not, like... Mm, I'm sorry I dropped your book in lava. Please forgive me. Thank you. Uh, so that that was kind of awesome. Okay, so I got... Andrea Buchanan, the, the author of uh, Waking Up, wrote me a uh, new Chapter 5. So... Because I make the maps, I can also make the rules for them. If you can convince 
Andy to manually write you a brand new chapter five and and uh, convince her to let you email you uh, email her your save file and have her write you a brand new book from scratch, then that qualifies as getting the chapter. So, ha. Ha, 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 ha. Take that. And you thought I wasn't going to 100% this map. You silly people. And you know what? This counts as a book, too. Silly vetches. All right. So that is it. That is a 100% completion of Waking Up. And I probably will do a highlights episode again. I have no idea when that'll be out. And that's uh, I'm in the grand scheme of things, I'm relatively new to YouTube and editing. And I'm sure somebody somebody like Zisto knocked out his hi, uh, Kaizo Cavern highlight episode in like a day of editing. It's probably going to take me a lot longer than that, just because I'm 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 derpy and. Not pro yet. I like how I needed a carrot to eat anyway. It's kind of funny. Um, so yeah. So this is the like, like, last actual episode of uh, Waking Up. And right now I'm working on Black Desert 2. And when I get done with that, I'll release it. And that's coming along very well. Um, I think I've put up to the blue wool is in the map. So it's, I'd say it's more than halfway done already. Um, going full steam ahead with that, that'll, uh, that map should be out pretty soon. Like, I would, I would measure the release date of Black Desert 2 in weeks, not months. So there you go. Uh, and what else before I wrap this up? I guess I can leave everything for another video. Uh, I do have another uh, series after this, and this is something people have requested for a, uh, another thing. People have requested for a while, and so this will... I'll probably do an Inferno Mines DevCom. I might do one for Black Desert 2. Um, I think I might brand that as a, a daily survival journal in Black Desert 2, because that's what that map feels more uh, feels like. But uh, I will be playing a CTM map made by uh, someone other than me. And so this should be interesting, and I'll let's play it, and uh, I might even... No, I don't know if I'll critique it, because it's... I don't... I don't know if I have the qualifications to do so, because I'm... Just kind of a, I'm just kind of a guy messing around with MC Edit. Uh, so what do I know? <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I will start that series uh, after this one. And I don't know if I'll do the every day at every odd day at 1 p.m. release for those. Um, I might gravitate toward gravitate towards um, releasing more videos on the weekend because YouTube like looking at stats and stuff uh, most viewers are active during the weekends and that's probably an easier time for people to watch stuff because during the weekdays you have work and school and you're busy um, so so yeah I'm not sure what kind of release schedule I'll do I'll uh, I'll just um, but this is, this is actually a good a good thing good time for me to experiment uh, because I'm constantly learning new stuff, not just with map making, but with uh, putting videos up on YouTube. And so, yeah, yeah. Uh, is there anything else before I wrap this up? So, I can't think of anything. If I think of anything fresh, it'll be uh, in a new video. So, this has been. Super Hostile, Waking Up, uh, by Vex and Andy Buchanan. There's the 100% completion on the Victory Monument, screenshotted, and I'll see you guys next map. Thanks for watching.